Welcome back to Nintendo K channel. I am Danny. Today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite franchises of all time. That is the Donkey Kong Country trilogy that started off with the Super Nintendo and also the, going all the way to the Nintendo Switch with the latest releases, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. Really exciting games, especially when I just played it in the 90s with Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. That started all really amazing. The history of it, it was a rare. It was a working with Nintendo at the time. They actually bought these really expensive uh, SGI computers and then and they, they developed this really neat uh, render, pre-render backgrounds and, uh, and animations for the characters uh, with these ACM, they call it ACM graphics. So they kind of give it this really nice, realistic look of, of the animation and the characters and the levels. Um, it really take the world by its storm because back in that day, 32 bit systems were coming out, but the uh, Donkey Kong Country held up with the look and the feel of it. And uh, not to also mention the gameplay is phenomenal um, with the uh, with the various uh, the, the, the elements of the, the platforming. It is a platforming game. The bounciness of the characters really took the platforming genre to a next level. And I love the fact that the varied environments that's involved in it, like the treetop, the jungle, the caves, the ice world. Oh my god, it's amazing. And uh, that's, um, this is a game that I played so much in my time as a youth and this is really one of the best games on the Super Nintendo. But of course, Nintendo did release various variations of uh, ports or, or derivatives of Donkey Kong Country because it's such a popular and, and it did very well for Nintendo. The, one of them is definitely uh, Game Boy, uh, for the Game Boy Donkey Kong Land. Really a phenomenal port of the, uh, of the game of, of Donkey Kong Country. They did the best they can for the Game Boy hardware. It's actually a very limiting system, obviously because the uh, Super Nintendo was a 16-bit system and the Game Boy was something that was back in during the NES era, if you guys don't remember. So, but I did get to play this uh, a while back and it, it really holds true to what the original con Donkey Kong Country was uh, was uh, presented. So really, really nice to see what they did. And then of course they also poured it over to the uh, Game Boy Color with Donkey Kong Country. Now this, they obviously uh, went to the next level. They used the color palettes of the Game Boy Color and actually looks really well. I actually uh, remember seeing it I'm like, oh wow, this looks even closer to the Super Nintendo. But the great thing about these portables, you can take it on the go and have the Donkey Kong Country experience uh, that way and then the last but they also include uh, making the Game Boy Advance version of the Donkey Kong Country so unfortunately I don't have a copy in my collection I'm looking for there's only two that I'm missing and that's one of them but nonetheless it's a really fantastic uh, way that they actually um, use the Game Boy Advance is actually the most closest to the Super Nintendo as possible um, and, and you can take it on the go as well we also have the Nintendo Park uh, uh, magazines that was actually in my collection that represents Donkey Kong country first one here i want to show you guys is this one here really cool it's a very retro one of, this is the oldest issue for the donkey kong country you can see donkey kong with diddy kong and some of the various animals that are in the game itself there are five animals just to name a few is rami the rhino uh, espresso the ostrich uh and guard or and guard I, I, i'm not sure how you guys pronounce it for the swordfish and squawks the parrot uh, i remember playing with those characters really phenomenal it changes the gameplay a lot with physics Awesome. I, I mean, I can find that this is the game to play on the Super Nintendo. For Donkey Kong Land, really cool. This is kind of like a look of underwater when Donkey Kong's swimming it. Of course, you gotta understand, there's also water level in Donkey Kong Country with the music, the aquatic ambience. So I just want to mention the game's music is phenomenal. It's very atmospheric, and, and but at the same time, the melody and the tone really takes advantage of the Super Nintendo. Really, really, I, I just can't say it. it's amazing. The next game in the trilogy is Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest, and they took it to the next level. This is my absolute favorite game of the entire trilogy. Um, it had this time they don't have Donkey Kong as the playable character. He's being kidnapped by King K. Rule by the Kremlins. Uh, but uh, your journey is with uh, D Kong and Dixie Kong, his girlfriend. So it's it's a it's a duel, and you play with them, and they have different abilities actually. Like Donkey like, Kong is a little bit heavier in the first game but uh, Diddy Kong is with speed but Dixie Kong has agility and I think has the um, the hair it kind of gives you this gliding mechanism it's really really awesome and actually can uh, actually change up the gameplay a bit and of course the varied environment is absolutely stunning you have literally uh, you go through a, a, a bees uh, a hive with all the honey ice world the caves everything you can imagine it's uh, even a lava world it's where this this all filled with the volcanoes and lava. It looks crazy as it sounds, but it really takes it to a whole new level in terms of gameplay and design and level 
it's absolutely stunning. One of the best games ever. Nintendo did release portal versions of the of the of this Donkey Kong Country 2. One here we have is Donkey Kong Land 2 for the uh, Game Boy. Really great, again, a really great rendition of the uh, Donkey Kong Country uh, 2 game. And also a Game Boy Advance version, so it gets it a little bit closer to the original. They have a Nintendo Power magazine to go along with it. Look at that. Uh, of course, you have uh, Diddy Kong and also Dixie Kong being premium issue. This is, I remember this one. I look at the issue. It looks really fantastic. I love how it looks. They have Squawks the Power right there. So colorful. And that's what makes uh, my child such a special thing to look back at these Nintendo Power magazine. Such a wonderful landmark game. So, of course, they, they end off with the Donkey Kong Country trilogy for the Super Nintendo with the, the third one is Donkey Kong Country 3 Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. This time, they don't have Diddy Kong. Uh, they have uh, Kitty Kong with uh, Dixie Kong uh, for the journey. And the, the atmosphere and, and the music is a little bit taking a different tone. It's more of a, a techno kind of uh, industrial feel to the game. Uh, but nonetheless, the gameplay design is still... Uh, spot on the gameplay, the the physics. Um, it's just like what you remember on the first two. Really, I, I do remember playing a bit of this uh, back as a kid as well. But uh, you know, as uh, many people not uh, have not ever got a chance to play it because it actually is the last game in the trilogy as Nintendo was moving on to the Nintendo 64. So not many people uh, took note of the game, but uh, nonetheless, it's still a great game in the trilogy. Uh, and then Nintendo did release a Game Boy version of it, and that's Donkey Kong Land 3. So again, a great rendition using the Game Boy hardware. That tells you how much uh, the Nintendo was uh, supporting the Game Boy. It's such a wonderful thing, and to see that they push it really hard to, to make all the, uh, the highly sophisticated graphics from Donkey Kong country into a portable version they also made a game more advanced of that uh, game as well also so unfortunately i don't have that in my collection that's also what i'm looking for but uh, to end it off with the Donkey kong country 3 this really wonderful cover of nintendo power with uh, kitty kong with dixie kong riding on a uh a, i guess on a contraption in, in the snow right we got a ski a ski contraption there and also we have the uh, the snowman in the background shooting some fire not fireball ice ice balls uh coming at you so really really nice i remember this one as well very fondly so pretty cool so the next game in the trilogy is going to be a couple years a lot of years just to say moving very generation of nintendo systems moving to the nintendo wii and that is donkey kong country returns for nintendo wii um this is a game that brought back to form and uh, this a uh, different company is uh, making a new version of the uh, i mean i guess they they took the formula from rare and now uh, it's retro studios working on it revamped the, the way the gameplay works i mean kept the formula uh, the, the way that you remember but uh, really amped it up had a lot of new elements in the camera the background they have silhouette environments really beautiful the music is great too they, they did a lot of remixes of the original Donkey Kong Country but I had a lot of fun playing with this and I'm sure many of you guys have as well there's another version of the game that was ported to Nintendo 3DS so if you're not able to play on the Wii this is also a great way to play on the go and this actually includes the 3D form so you can pump in 3D and play the game as it is and it's a very good port of the Nintendo Wii version also to end it off with a Nintendo Power magazine and um, this is a, a also a really great issue featuring the cover art that you saw earlier for the Nintendo Wii with the Diddy riding on Donkey Kong one thing I want to mention that the, the formula has changed a bit um, where before in the previous game you switch between the two characters that you're playing but this time uh, the secondary character like which is Diddy Kong gives uh, Donkey Kong a little boost ability with the, uh, um, the, the jetpack that he has in the back so it kind of gives you a hover um, one of the neat uh, part I want to show you guys in the magazine itself is this here look at that the boy the boys are back in this pretty cool spread from Nintendo Power you can see that you know it's been a while the Donkey Kong has been uh, away from the, the trilogy itself that tells you that from Super Nintendo to Nintendo Wii is back in true form and then the last of the trilogy that the most recent of them all is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Nintendo Wii U and uh, this is the um, amazing game they took everything they did learn retro studios learned from returns and took it to a whole new level it's like the the I guess it would be compared to Donkey Kong Country to Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest the, the amount of what they learned from the past and they, they amped it up such a, a big astounding way the graphics the gameplay elements uh, the physics the look the art is just fun the music 
phenomenal. Just like in Donkey Kong Country 2, the music is also the best in the trilogy since Donkey Kong Country 2. And even those two games, like the, the one in the past and this one here, I listen to this day. It's just a phenomenal thing. And that tells you the standing, outstanding design of this game. It really deserves your attention. And speaking of this game, they also have Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze uh, for Nintendo Switch. It's coming out. I don't have it as of the recording of this video, but it's really worth your time to check it out. It's a really phenomenal game. And it has Funky Kong in there. And, and uh, it has a new gameplay elements with the characters. And also I forgot to mention, with Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, they have uh, various count, uh, characters coming back. It's Dixie Kong, uh, Cranky Kong, and then of course, Funky Kong all there with you to play. So it, it kind of changes the style of gameplay for each and every one of them. But now I'm going to show you guys some of the various items in my collection uh, I gathered over the years. There's not that many Donkey Kong memorabilia and collectibles, but I want to show you what I have nonetheless and hope you guys you know, enjoyed it in this section of the videos. Okay, so first thing is the Amiibos that many of you guys may have. This is the uh, Super Smash Bros. line and then we have Donkey Kong and uh, Diddy Kong. Really cool. I love how they stand and look like he's in action and of course uh, Diddy Kong as well, ready to get into fighting mode, right? Because this is Smash Bros. after all. And then the next one is from the Super Mario Bros. line, same thing, but they're in different poses. The base is a little different, and they and this one with Diddy Kong uh, sitting on a barrel, looking really, really cool. And then Donkey Kong, you know, posing really like a muscular. So he's all muscle, he's all all strength. That's the thing about. You know, Donkey Kong after all. And then of course, they did uh, Skylanders and um, they did release uh, two, Ami I guess they both they consider Skylander and Amiibo uh, figures. So this is the regular version and the dark version. So pre uh, pretty cool nonetheless. I like how they look. They look pretty, uh, you know, he's in action. So again, you can play this in both form, Amiibo and Skylanders. And they did include the different uh, vehicles along with it, the regular and the dark version. So pretty cool to see that they have Donkey Kong uh printed on top of the vehicle pretty nice and then there are some other items that i have I collected over the years i thought you guys enjoy this one here is a plush of donkey kong look at that this is really cool this is if you guys don't know if you look at the uh, original design of donkey kong he was from the arcades um so the, the, the biggest difference is obviously the head shape that rare change and also the tie as well so this is the new form this is i got it from the nintendo 64 era but nonetheless it's um it has the rare logo on the, the, the tag here and this is what i got from nintendo power in their catalog when you have to purchase it through what they they produce it was really cool items but this is what i could afford at the time so i actually try this a lot in my collection the next item i have is the um this i guess it's like a pencil pouch um you can put various um uh, items and uh, uh i guess accessories in your uh, in your school accessory it's a, it's a banana peel from donkey kong country returns for nintendo wii really sweet so again open it up you can put anything in there a pencil or eraser but uh, none of us is pretty cool and of course the, you can't you can't miss out from donkey kong country tropical freeze is the tie itself so you can literally wear the tie over your neck and uh, look at that it's really big if you can imagine like look like look making yourself look like donkey kong so i like this piece as well and to end it off is this donkey kong banana so this nintendo gave out during pax east uh, 2018 uh promoting the latest game for donkey kong country tropical freeze for nintendo switch really phenomenal to see that they're giving out stuff like this the best of them all is these two items i have and they really uh is part of the game room for a bit of time especially um this last item but uh just i'll just grab it here is this really amazing poster and again i was mentioning earlier of a new character is funky kong for uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Look at that, it's really cool with his board there, surfboard, and he has new abilities in there. You can actually uh, go into spikes without getting hurt. You can hover in the air, so really neat to see that uh, there's a poster for the actual Funky Kong. He was first premiered in uh, the, the, fir the first Donkey Kong, kind of helping you transverse uh, backwards to previous levels that you, uh, you finished, but uh, now that he gets a starring role in this game. Now the most, uh, I guess proud piece in my collection is this store display. It's it's really nice and it's actually uh, kind of hawking back to the most recent game of the trilogy for the Wii U and of course Nintendo Switch being ported to this store display for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Look at that! Isn't that amazing? You can see 
uh, all the various characters in that world, Donkey Kong, Dixie Kong, Diddy Kong, and also Cranky Kong is in there. Cranky Kong, the, the actual old man himself, is in the, in the house. Uh, we have some of the the villains of that world, the uh, Viking-like creatures um, that you see, uh, Viking-like animals like uh, walruses, uh, uh, penguins. Um, so really cool to see that it was represented here. And also on the side here, it was originally for the Nintendo Wii U. So pretty sweet. I'm loving this look. And also on the back, uh, back in the original day, this was available on February 21st uh, for the Nintendo. Uh, we so we you so fantastic. I hope you guys enjoy my collection Also a look back of the entire Donkey Kong Country trilogy is one of my favorite of all time the gameplay is just phenomenal and the the, uh, the look of it, it just resonates with me so well. So leave me down below in the comments where you think of the trilogy. Um, have you enjoyed it over the years? I'm certainly interested to hear what you have to say. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to Nintendo K, that's always helpful. And I'll catch you again in the next episode.